I love Lego films and Lego shows, so I decided to check out an episode of Lego Friends. And then I realised that it's very much not Lego. Even though Lego Friends have a slightly different style to traditional Lego, I still expected it to look like the characters were made of Lego the way they do in the Lego Friends sets. Yes, but I kept watching anyway. And New Girl in Town is certainly an interesting story. My only other observation beyond the fact that they don't look like they're made of Lego or even Lego Friends Lego is that I don't know how old these characters are meant to be. They're very juvenile, they're very childlike, but then they have jobs and other responsibilities that children wouldn't have. So if anybody knows officially how old the Lego Friends characters are meant to be, please feel free to let me know. But as a story, it's not too bad. New Girl in Town is about a new girl in town, this girl called Olivia, and she's struggled to make friends in the two weeks that she's been there. And she's helping out in the run-up to this event that's... I saw this name written down first, and I had no idea what they were talking about until they said it out loud. It's the Petacular. It just looks so strange written down. It's a, a pet event, and unfortunately, she's holding onto this dog's leash. The dog runs riot, and she causes all kinds of problems, which is not what you want to do when you've just moved to a, a new city. And it looks like there are going to be a lot of issues, and the petacular might not be ready in time, and people not, might not be able to put on performances because one of the horses has run away. However, a bunch of the girls namely the Lego friends, decide to team up and work together to solve all of these problems while also allowing Olivia to make some new friends. It's a decent enough story. I think it develops really well. The pacing is, well, it's quite interesting because it feels like things could have been wrapped up a good 10 minutes earlier. The whole thing is about 25 minutes, I think. And I feel like Maybe not quite 10 minutes, but at least a good five minutes before the end, I felt like things should have really started to wrap up. And then it just kind of went on a little bit longer. But it's otherwise not too bad. The characters all have very different personalities, which I think works really well because it means that anybody watching it is probably going to be able to relate to at least one of them. And yes, as I said, they do have a bit of a strange age because they seem to be acting like children, but also young adults. So I'm not entirely sure what age they're meant to be. I think it would have been better if they had just been younger children, preteens, young enough that they couldn't have jobs, because then I think it would have been more relatable for the target audience, for young because if you have that element of relatability where they have jobs and things, it means that they're not necessarily on the same level as, as younger viewers. That's not to say characters in kids' shows can't have jobs. I just feel like the target audience is younger, bearing in mind I'm 31, but the target audience in general is younger than the characters in the show appear to be. So I think it would have been better if they were just a little bit younger or, or come across as a bit younger. But other than that, it's it's not bad. It's a nice enough story. It's a, a very solid story about friendship. It definitely fits the Lego Friends theme really well. And the animation, the animation's not bad. It's The color palette is great. It's very bright. We have a lot of bold colors. Visually, it's engaging in that regard. It's a little rough here and there. And as I've mentioned, they're not made of Lego. Not even the Lego Friends Lego, which is a bit of a shame because... I was really looking forward to seeing what their movements would be like and how they'd do either, well, the stop motion or the CGI to look like Lego Friends. But other than that, it's not bad. I think for the target audience, it's a pretty great story. It doesn't make me want to go and watch more Lego Friends. I might do at some point. But for now, I'm pleased that New Girl in Town has settled my curiosity and if it sounds like it would appeal to you, then it might be worth checking out.